Hi, we're Ryan and Sarah. As we prepare to build our dream home in 2021, we've been creating more space for our family that we know we'll need when we're in the process of building. This has included a 30-foot yurt that now we need to insulate for winter. This is proving to be a little trickier than we thought. We're paying for the money we saved with our time. In this episode, you'll watch us do our third and hopefully final install of our yurt insulation. It's what we should have done when we first put it up. We're also making sure we have proper amenities for our winter visits to our land. Have you shown them all your toilet seat already? No. Ooh, you guys are in for a treat. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so you don't miss a moment of the adventure. Hopefully he doesn't staple my face by accident. Hey guys, hey. we are back at our property and we're going to, we have to fix an insulation issue. The insulation is all um, on one side, it's falling. And I think it is because we cut too big of pieces. So it's a lot of weight pulling on the tape. And we used aftermarket. We, yeah, we also did not use the insulation that would have come with our yurt. So, so you know, <laughs> now we're we're paying for the money we saved with our time, and we're debating on whether that was worth it or not. Yeah, but. good return. But it is where we are, um, and we're we're going to uh, lift up the, the insulation that's fallen down, and we're going to tape that seam between the upper half and the lower half, half. And then once we get that in place, then we're going to put some staples in, and then that'll hold it in place, nice and secure. It's it's what we should have done when we first put it up. Uh, we tried to use tape and adhesives, which we, we thought were going to work a little more better than they did. Yes. And we are always in a hurry when we're up here. We're always up here for a weekend. So a lot of times we're like, we have to get this part done. And the yeah. insulation has just been something that hasn't needed to get done. So it didn't get done in the right order. It should have been done before the walls sides were even on. put yeah. on. And we needed to get the sides on because we were going to be leaving. And it was going to start raining. Yeah. Yep. And and then we should have put it on before we put the snow and wind kit on, but we and we did. That's when we got it in, and we should have just done it correctly then. Yep. But I think we were trying to get so much done that weekend that we did it kind of as quick as we can. And now here yeah. we are. And sometimes we you don't get it done. Sometimes you don't know what you don't know. So we we thought that the way that we did it was going to work, mm -hmm. but it and turned out it didn't. Okay, do you see how it's white there and tan there? That's because the top insulation piece that we had all fell because we only had it taped up and the tape, the piece that we had was too big 
for just being held up by tape. And we knew we were eventually going to screw it in, but it, um, it took us too long. So anyway, we're going around. I'm going to be holding up the big piece in here and Ryan's going to be on the outside doing the staple gun. Hopefully he doesn't staple my face by accident. And <laughs> that's the plan. And then we'll have it being all, all white instead of double toned. Okay, Ryan is going around and putting in the last staples that we want into our insulation. And then we're gonna bring the cover down and then we have to go around the perimeter and screw in there's little um, grommets around the bottom and we'll screw all those in. And we're also gonna put a piece of weather stripping right above where the screws will go in to add a little extra layer of insulation. And then we're almost done with this project. That just isn't very rewarding because it feels like we've done it like three times now. are at the end of our day we got the cover all put back down and I was gonna say I can't see if you're in it I'm here okay <laughs> um, we got the cover put back down all around it so now we're going around and we're putting some insulation stripping what do you call that weather stripping weather stripping weather stripping around the edge and then screwing in all the way around so that's what we're gonna do to wrap up today and I think that's all we're doing today maybe we'll go peek at what's gonna happen on the outhouse tomorrow Maybe do some grout. Oh yeah, there was talk of grout. We'll see what happens. Manuel needs his home. He does, he's sad. All right, that's it for us today. It's Sunday and we are going to continue our um, putting the weather stripping around the perimeter blocking. It is proving to be a much more time consuming project than we thought and you're down on the ground and you have to like have all your supplies and you're down on the ground and you get about one and a half feet done and then you have to get up and move over so it's just slow going. So we're going to see if we can do it a little bit differently this morning with like clear heads and all that stuff. So hopefully it'll work a little bit better. And then what we're hoping is we can get one person going on the perimeter blocking and then one person can start working on the outhouse. Cause all we need to do on the outhouse now is finish the seat up and finish the door. So maybe we could get that all done today cause we are leaving tomorrow. So we need to cram as much in as we can today. While Sarah is finishing up the uh, drip edge and insulation on the on the yurt, I'm going to head up and finish up and do a little bit of work on the uh, outhouse. So let me show you what we're going to do. So last time we were up, we got uh, a really good head start on the outhouse. 
um, got the whole roof done, all the siding done. Um, what we didn't uh, do well was we, uh, or the seat, we used like quarter inch plywood. And after kind of uh, doing a little bit of test on it, uh, the it, it's too small. So I'm gonna take off this piece of plywood and we're gonna replace it with a half inch piece of plywood. And then I'm gonna finish uh, doing the door and we should have our outhouse done and finished. Okay, I'm up at the outhouse now with Brian and he's been working hard. Um, we're gonna put the rest of the seat materials down so it will no longer be a hole. Have you shown them all your toilet seat already? No. Ooh, you guys are in for a treat. <laughs> yeah. I just put the same. 